Saying police officers will be wearing body cameras starting tomorrow. LPD is showing off its newest technology after nearly two years of planning. A total of 14 officers will be testing out three different cameras before making a choice. Lauren Fultenberg takes a closer look at the options. If you can't be in an officer's shoes, Sir, I can look at your insurance, you might as well be in their shirt. Starting this week, Lansing officers will have one more tool at hand. Well, it's going to take get some taken used to. But in the end, Officer David Burke expects the body camera he'll be testing to be a good thing. I think it's a good tool for us to show what actually happens um, versus what somebody says happens. Especially in light of highly publicized officer-involved shootings in mid-Michigan and across the country. I think it gives the public perception to know exactly what we do day in, day out, okay, um, not what they here from others. This is one of the models that we're testing right now. Designs from L3, Digital Ally and Taser are all on the table. Certainly we want to make sure that the equipment is user friendly, that it's not complicated for the police officers. And then there's the cost, particularly storing all the footage, which will be kept securely for 90 days or longer if it's tagged as evidence. But don't expect the cameras to replace a good old fashioned police investigation. And that camera is only looking in one direction. It's not looking at that 360 degree it only paints some of the picture, not all the picture. Though the rollout already seems to be painting a picture of stronger trust. Absolutely. I think it's good for the honesty and integrity of the police officers, and I think it's uh, great uh, for both parties. And perhaps a great start toward a tighter community. Lauren Fultenberg, Fox 47 News. LPD expects to choose a camera and purchase them by late fall.